Okay, hello, hello, world man. It's Ashley Collins, aka the Aunt of Dragons, and I'm all dressed up fancy and stuff because I went to pop my head in to say, hey, I applied. Did you look at it? You didn't look at it yet? Cool, that's great. <laughs> I don't... Like, I don't know if, like, managers like that or if they don't like that. I would definitely be bothered by it. But, like, I would also appreciate it because it's, like, I can get a face with the name. But also, like, can we make applications where you can, like, put your picture there? You know? I don't know. I guess I guess that would make it... I guess that would be stupid if you had to have your picture because then it gives your employer an opportunity to, like, be biased, you know, and, and not hire based off of race or gender. But also, if you're not going to hire me based off of race, based off of race or gender, I don't want to work for you in the first place. That was a weird tangent. So I'm sitting here in the house, bored with no Wi-Fi. Um, day three, four, three, whatever, with no Wi-Fi. I'm still alive. Um, and um, I was just going to sit down and um, watch some videos from my phone that I downloaded. But then um, I've had this next to my bed. Um, it's from a very good friend of mine, the Recycled Pirate, Andy. And... Um, I definitely encourage you to look him up, um, The Recycled Pirate. Let me hold this still. Why, do I, why am I moving this? Let me hold this still. The Recycled Pirate. I found his story. Um, I don't know how I found him. It was completely random. And I remember I watched his TED Talk. And I remember thinking to myself, how is he so calm? Why is he not frantic or panicked? And... <laughs> I don't know, I don't remember how I reached out to him, but he was just so nice and so kind to me. Even even now, he he just randomly mailed this to me and he sells these. He's mailed this to me for free. I mean, and he's international. And um, I'm gonna read them. It said, they're postcards, so I can like write on them and mail them. But I kind of don't want to mail them. I kind of want to keep them all to myself, but I should, <laughs> I should mail them out. Oh, I should have mailed them to my family. My my mom and my brother, my sister's like birthdays are all in the same month. I could have mailed it to them. I mean, it's not too late. It's not too late to mail it to them for late birthday presents. But um, it says, um, stay weird. Normal is so overrated. Um, you are not perfect, period. So, so own it. You're not perfect, period. So own it. And I love this one. Wait a second. I didn't notice that he wrote in the back of this one. I'm gonna read that in a second, hold on, okay. Um, another one of the, um, you are not perfect, period, so own it. Um, if you want to be beautiful, treat others like it. I love that one. Um, and then, oh, another uh, one of the, if you want to be beautiful, treat others like it. And I'm gonna read this. I didn't know that he wrote in the back of it. <laughs> I've had this for like a month now. I, I, gosh, I feel so foolish, okay. Hey, Miss Ashley. Here are some of my pirate wisdom quote cards, and one especially for you. No hidden message, just clearly stating that once we accept our flaws, we, we will get easier on ourselves and try less hard to convince ourselves of our beauty and goodness. I hope you keep doing you. Love your pirate, Andy. Was I covering my mouth the whole time? It doesn't matter, because I'm not perfect, so I own it. I think my ego's definitely been getting in the way lately. You know, like, I'm almost 31 years old. And it frustrates me that no one really knows me, you know? Everyone has these assumptions about me. And then they're always so shocked when, when they're like, that doesn't seem like you. And it's like, are you actually really paying attention? Are you actually trying to get to know me? Are you actually trying to, like, ask me questions? Or are you just basing everything off of your assumptions? But now that I moved, I feel... A bit happier. I still feel that stress, that pressure of money. Like I need a job like yesterday and then rent's coming up and then need a, a, a laundry unit and need Wi-Fi and need this and need that. But also this place is so beautiful and it's so quiet and it's so cute. And I don't know why, but I just feel this kind of calm. And I wonder if Andy feels that way too. Is this the calm that Andy feels? And if it is, then all the rough times really aren't that rough. I was listening to this video while I was driving from the place and this guy said, don't worry about positive or negative thinking, think about accurate thinking. 
where and I, where I'm, I'm I'm all about being practical, you know, like I'm all about being optimistic, but like what's your present situation? What's your current situation? And it makes it seem a, a little less harsh when you say think accurately. Okay, I need a job. Think accurately. I can get a job because I know I'm experienced enough. I know that I'm I know that I'm, I'm a hard worker. I know that I'm, I'm, I'm amiable. I know that I'm compassionate. I know that I'm a great team worker. So the job will come. So don't worry about that. Try not to worry so much. Think accurately. It will come. Just keep putting your face out there. And that was a really random rant, but I want more of these. I'm going to order more of these because just always oh, printed on recycled paper too that's awesome you probably can't read that but um just having this next to my bed just brings me comfort after all the chaos has happened the past god this this was a really rough 2019 was a really rough holiday but um yeah i'm just ranting rambling right now and um i want to, i want to tell you a really funny story but i want to save something to do tomorrow <laughs> so i'm not sitting around staring at staring at a wall so um cool, cool I'm really really happy that I'm vlogging again I'm really really happy that I moved I'm really really happy that I have friends who are thinking about me even though I'm being so rude and so selfish and not talking to them I have a lot of catching up to do I still need to call my mom and tell her that I moved um, I text one of my close friends I need to call another one of my close friends and tell them I moved and yeah just documenting cool, cool 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 driving through life okay that's it bye 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 um that's it bye <laughs>